here I have a 2006 aerial photo and I'd like a little bit more up-to-date photo so what we're gonna do is go to Google Earth Pro and I've zoomed in already to the area that I need and down here in the lower right I can see the imagery date is 7:24:17, and this is Google Earth Pro um, you can get a this for free um, just Google Google Earth Pro uh, code and you'll get the code I th and you can put it in when you enter uh, when you install it so from here I'm going to use this button here to export the map and I'm going to turn off all the title legend scale and compass because I don't need those and change the resolution to maximum and then I'm going to hit save image and I'm going to save this in my temporary folder and I'm going to call it Google Earth and I'm going to give it the same date that it was taken so that I know in the future if I have another Google Earth I know what date the imagery was from I'm going to hit save and it's being prepared and it's exporting to that folder and then we go back here and this is the same folder and now I have a Google Earth Pro image and if I bring it in here you obviously see it does not um, show up on in the background here as a background because it has no georeferencing to it so it has no coordinates to um, show the map so what we're gonna do is actually give it some points and if I right click on the gray area up here and I can bring in the toolbar called georeferencing and if I hadn't um, put in this aerial photo or the uh, Google Earth photo in there first before I open this I would have this as the choice and I do not want to accidentally georeference that so please make sure that that is the correct image that you want to georeference and I'm going to fit this to, to display and I'm going to choose a few points on this map versus the 2016 so I'm going to choose the same exact point so this is a point with the uh, looks like a, a shop there that's on the first um, Google image and then where it is on my 2016 and now I turn back on the Google Earth image and that point is now got a location to it so I'm gonna go down here and do the same thing on this barn down here and it has lined them up now you need at least three points um, on the map to make it correct and make it um, reference in a two-dimensional setting so we're going to see if we can get in there and here's a small building here and there we go and now that's all lined up and you'll notice you'll notice sometimes that some of these won't line up perfectly um, and you'll have to go through and make more points you can make lots of them like I'll make another one right here on the corner of this building oh look it lines up perfectly sometimes they won't sometimes they will um, but the more the more points you locate if you've got a big area um, the better quality georeferencing it's going to do there is the auto um, registration sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't it'll actually choose a whole bunch of points if it can find them between the, the two images um, I'm not going to use that this time but you can test that out and see if it works so after you have at least three points I've got four and I'm using it for this field so I kinda went around the edges of um, that field and I'm gonna hit update georeferencing 
and now the those points that I had went away and now if I brought this in again it now has georeferencing to it it has um, location to it and that's all you need to do